Hello guys, welcome to Top Anime Sensei. This video is the continuation video after Yuki cut a deal. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. That's only natural. My ambition is to conquer the world. After all, right now, I don't seem to stand a chance against you. But one day, I'll eventually surpass you. Yuki could barely stand because of his wounds, yet he still talked big to Guy. Thoughts like pissing off Guy would get me killed didn't even cross Yuki's mind while he was talking. But this was Guy he was talking to, so his attitude turned out to be the right call. Had he begun to pathetically plea for his life, Guy would have immediately lost interest, a surefire way to get them all killed. Unbeknownst to him, he had played all his cards right. So you're saying that it'll be good for me if you manage to take down the Empire. The conversation had reached its turning point. Yuki had to execute his plan cautiously. He shifted his gaze back to Guy and nodded affirmatively. Of course, I don't know the exact reason, but you don't seem to want the Empire to invade the West. Is that right? Guy must have some connection with the Emperor. Rudra, that was the key. Yuki turned up the act. I have many enemies ahead of me to bring down, and I intend to join the Empire. However, I don't intend to be under its control. Instead, I will destroy it from within and turn it into a puppet of ours. Hem, I see. You will get help from the Empire while your goals still align. But they might not be the same afterward. You want to borrow the strength of the Empire to defeat Leon. And probably that Rimuru as well. Right. Guy's sharp eyes seemed to have seen through it all as he stared at Yuki. There was no turning back for him now. He didn't know what kind of relationship Guy had with Leon, nor what he thought of Rimuru. He couldn't even predict how Guy would react as he replied. Despite it all, Yuki still decided to express his ambition deliberately. That's right, I want to dominate the world, and I will beat you in the end, Demon Lord Guy Crimson Sam. Yuki proclaimed with impudence. It was up to Guy to interpret this. Even if we followed Laplace's plan, I doubt a single one of us would have seen another day. Sorry guys, but please play along with my plan. Yuki apologized to his companions in his heart. It was all or nothing for them, and Yuki was very greedy. If he lived, he would get everyone else out alive as well. The bet was incredibly risky. However, Yuki hit the jackpot. Are you guys seriously called the moderate clown troop? Because you sure act like clowns. You've thrown the entire playing field into disarray. Like some kind of joker card. Your proposal is very interesting. Considering how bold you've been, I've decided to let you all go peacefully. However, don't expect me to be merciful the next time we meet. In the end, there was no telling what Guy's goal was. Whatever it was, what mattered now was that Yuki and his companions were saved. Rain and Misery couldn't object to Guy's decision. As soon as Guy said they could go, Yuki and his companions fled on the spot. After Guy and his servants left, Yuki and the other clowns hurried to the agreed-upon rendezvous point, where Kagali and the others were. Since there were no more threats, Everyone thought that it was best to leave as quickly as possible. Once he saw Kigali at the rendezvous point, Laplace spoke up to Yuki. You gotta be kidding me. Unbelievable. To do something so bold in front of that monstrous demon lord guy. And we somehow managed to escape safely. Terror added. I honestly thought that we were screwed. Ho ho ho. I had confidence in boss from the start. That's because you don't use your brain, Laplace teased footman. Yuki saw the exchange from the corner of his eyes and sat on the ground exhausted. I was forced to come up with that plan on the spot, but that probably was the only way we could have gotten out of the situation alive. Thankfully, it worked in the end. I'm not taking any complaints from you guys. As opposed to the wounds he sustained in battle, his mind was far wearier. Yuki didn't want to argue any longer at this point. He lay down spread eagle on the ground and closed his eyes. Kigali had no clue what had happened. So Laplace and Ter began to explain the whole story. You guys fought Guy, and you managed to come back unscathed. Kagali couldn't contain her shock, becoming utterly baffled. Ah, it's so good to be alive. As the wind caressed Yuki's face, he let his thoughts wander. Suddenly, he remembered something. What was that mysterious voice he heard halfway through his battle? Was it my alter ego? No way. That sounds like some made-up nonsense. Actually, hold on. Even though I don't feel there's any power hidden inside me, there's one possibility that I could think of. Yuki recalled his recently acquired power. The unique skill greed, with this skill, the stronger his desire was, the more power it would grant him. 
During his battle with Guy, not a single one of Yuki's attacks landed. This naturally included the powerful skill Greed of the Deadly Sin series. This Greed sure is a mystery too, but there are always skills and magic beyond my imagination. Guy managed to bypass my anti-skill with his magic. I have to figure out how he did that. Yuki had an incredible amount of self-confidence, yet his ego took a huge hit after being taken down by Guy so easily. He wouldn't give up that easily, though. Now that he managed to survive safe and sound, he must think of plans for the future. Yuki's greatest strength was that he could quickly refocus himself. He was once an extremely arrogant person, thinking that he had power even surpassing the demon lords. No, even if I'm not the strongest, with the right amount of research and strategizing, I can beat any opponent I face. Relying on the power he had in the assistance of Kigali, Laplace, and the others, he managed to build a powerful faction. Everything was going smoothly, but lately, he was experiencing failure after failure. Moreover, Yuki's fight with Guy had completely destroyed his confidence. That being said, he was lucky to even be alive after that fight. Things are getting very interesting. Some extra difficulty really spices up a game. And so, Yuki was not frustrated at his defeats. Instead, he pondered further on it. Speaking of Guy's ability, he was struggling to analyze it, even using his creator. Unique skill creator was very special. Not only could it create skills, but it could also analyze other people's unique skills, provided they were using them. But Yuki believed no one could hide their abilities against him. And yet, it hadn't worked on Guy. That meant that he had some power greater than unique skills. Yuki craved for power. He wanted stronger powers that would surpass Guy's. Deep inside his heart, the flame of his desire burnt violently. In that case, perhaps my greed has the chance to evolve too. I am greedier than anyone, if I pour my desire into it, Yuki felt a shiver of excitement. He started thinking hard. Losing to Guy had made him realize how unfair this world was. He wanted to fight it and emerge victorious, that was Yuki's wish. He closed his eyes and spoke to the voice inside his heart. He ventured to a place deep in his heart, and continued to delve deeper until he reached the bottom of that abyss. Yuki observed the abyss carefully. So, are you ready to take my help now? No, that's not my plan. Then what do you want? I have some business with you. Some business with me. Yes, I am going to take your power. Quit joking around. I'm not joking around. I am very serious. You know. Stop this nonsense, sorry. But you're in my way. Ah. The next second. His wish swelled to fill his entire mind. He desired his true ambition and its fulfillment. He didn't want to be anyone's servant. His strong will turned into a weapon. Yuki was challenging himself. Then. The voice of the world rang out. Confirmed. Conditions satisfied. Unique skill greed has evolved into ultimate skill greedy King Mammon. Yuki opened his eyes once more. Now with a smug smirk. I'll make good use of your power. He muttered quietly enough that no one else could hear. On that day. At that moment. At that place. The foulest Majin was born. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my other videos then please watch them. The links are in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.